Ammunition manufacture has changed massively. Radway Green opened in the war as Royal Ordnance Facility 13. It evolved through the Cold War and it's now a state-of-the-art manufacturing facility turning raw materials into rounds for the British forces. This then is the very start of the journey. In a couple of hours' time, these little lumps of brass will be turned into fully formed rounds. They'll be mated with their bullets filled with explosives in this factory that turns out a million rounds a day. The general manager is Nigel McBean. Nigel, how different is this to the way things used to be done? That's right, very different. This is all now about automation, making the ammunition as safe and means as we can. Now, do you just make rounds here for the British forces? No, the British forces are our main customer, uh, but we also export to certain approved NATO countries. Now, this factory seems to be uh, brand new, pretty state-of-the-art, if I'm honest. How much have you invested here? That's right, the factory's only just opened this year. We've invested £83 million in Radway Green, and that's part of a wider £200 million investment by BA Systems. Each machine turns out 250 cases a minute, 15,000 an hour, and there are six of them. 556 five, caliber rounds made at Radway Green and NATO reference ammunition. They are the standard other rounds are measured against. And each is scanned to make sure it meets exacting tolerances. Failures are automatically rejected. It's an automated process, but the highly skilled workforce is constantly on hand. They are machines, but sometimes they can go wrong and cases do get stuck in them if uh, one goes down the wrong way round or then, then it gets stuck, but these ones, especially behind me, if something main, minor goes wrong, then they automatically start up, up, start up again. Finished cases pour out, while on the other side of the factory, bullets are made in equally vast numbers before the two are loaded together with powder and shipped on to the forces. And here it is, the finished product with the coveted RG Radway Green head stamp. It's not quite the end of the process, though, because each batch is painstakingly tested. And that means only one thing, barring some. It's all done to such high standards that in the heat of an Afghan summer or the depths of an Arctic winter, these rounds fire true first time, every time. Will Inglis, Forces News, Radway Green.